Hi, I'm Claire Woods, an artist, a painter, um, having my first solo exhibition in Scotland at Dundee Contemporary Arts. I studied BA in Bath and I studied sculpture and then I went to Goldsmiths a few years later to do my MA which was general fine art and that's when I started painting. Yeah, um, the sort of change happened then. I've always worked from photography, I've always used a photograph and in the past it was always a landscape photograph that I took myself. Um, but since 2011 the work's evolved quite a lot and I've changed my materials and I've also, the source materials become more detached, it's become from found imagery, um, which I draw. And all of the works in the exhibition at Dundee Contemporary Arts are based on black and white photographs that I've found. It's not like I go looking for an image, it kind of finds me. I think, because I study sculpture and I really do think about, I think I think th three-dimensionally all the time, and I find an object or an image of an object that I want to paint because of its shape or the way I know I can paint that image. It's a, it's a very physical um, experience. So that half of, the, half of the selection of the image is about how I can paint it, so how, how the structure of the image will work in paint. And coming from this sculptural background, I suppose my work is process-led, so the way I make the paintings quite broken down, it's not putting a canvas on the wall and just painting it, it's, it's very much each aspect of the process is, is dealt with separately. So as, as I mentioned, I work from a pho photograph and then I'll draw. So the actual line, a line is taken from that photo and that's really the basis of the painting. And that line becomes the structure on the aluminium. So I draw that onto the aluminium upright. But when I paint the paintings, I lay it flat. So I use trestles and the painting almost becomes like a table, like the painting table, because I'm really short. There's no control. You know, you've got ultimate control in about this much space, but to be up and down ladders or working with long arm reach, I've, you just don't have that control. Whereas working flat, you, you can have ultimate control over the paint. So it's like constructing this image with the paint. And there's a certain element of detachment. So when it actually comes to painting, I'm just thinking about the brush mark and the color. So it's like each aspect of the, of the production is broken down into sort of bite-sized chunks. And the way I've actually constructed the paintings have changed. There used to be lots of mixing, pre-mixing and mixing the colours externally on a palette or in tubs. Whereas for this, for this exhibition, a lot of the paintings, I would mix three or four colours with a black and a white as well, and then actually mix on the, on the painting. So the actual process has become a lot more fluid and, and quicker in, in a lot of ways. I really like working on a large scale, and obviously that comes with the opportunities like this exhibition and the exhibition I had at Hepworth Wakefield to be able to make large scale work. It's not something you can make and leave in your studio. <laughs> and now I've come to the end of this show, I really feel like I want to work small again. I want to be able to be really um, able to move the works myself. I do drag these around the studio, but if I need to stand things up, I do need help. So you're very reliant on other people. Um, whereas I like to just be quite personal with, with a painting. And I find it really hard, I don't, I don't, I can't paint if there's other people in the studio, so if there's people helping me, um, I need to wait till they've all gone before I can paint, so I quite like the freedom of working on a smaller scale, but it's really hard to make a small painting. Well, in this room, the painting behind me took about three months, and the painting in front of me took a day, so it, it, it's a process, I've, I'm, I'm moving through this this process to working more instinctively and quicker and in a more fluid way. It's a really interesting question about knowing when something's finished because it's never been a problem, I just know. Very rarely will I work back into a painting. Um, there's a moment when it goes from being horizontal to vertical that's yeah, it's either worked or it hasn't worked, but um, more recently I have worked into the paintings a little bit, but most of these works n not. I suppose it's just an instinctive thing, you know when it's done. I've known about DCA for a long, long time, even before it opened, and I was in one of the first group exhibitions beyond um, nearly 20 years ago. Uh, so it's such a 
pleasure to be able to come back and have it to myself. Um, I remember the first time I saw the building finished, it was like, this is a painting gallery. Um, the light and the walls is just fantastic. I think with this, with this exhibition, we've pared everything back. Like we say, we've taken out all extra walls. It's, it's back to the bare bones. There's no labels. There's a really nice information leaflet and a catalogue. But we've just tried to make the visitor experience your own. Um, I don't like reading texts about exhibitions. I don't like walking into an exhibition and being told what I'm going to look at or what I should be thinking. I'd rather look at the exhibition and then read the text. Um, so this is perfect for me, and I really hope the viewer has that experience. If they want to know more, they can look, and if, if they don't, that's fine. Um, I'd also really... You know, there hasn't been a painting exhibition here for a long time. I hope in some ways it slows things down slightly for the viewer, so it's not... Um, it's a different experience. We've had some benches made, and hopefully people will sit and spend time in the space and really... Um, not read them like Instagram images or Facebook images, spend, spend a bit longer with them.